Welcome to the Creativity City. In this video, I'm going to be tie-dyeing a lot. Expectation versus result. First of all, this is all of the stuff I have. Yes, it's a lot of stuff because I have a really big tie-dyeing kit, meaning I need a lot of stuff to tie-dye. So this is all that I have for tie-dyeing. Here's my really big tie-dye kit. Yes, it is really that big. And there are some extra packets of dye, so I have some extra bottles from when I last tie-dyed. Here's what I got from the kit. I got a plastic sheet, which I'm going to use as a table cover. I got instructions. I got eight bottles. And I also have some extra five that I'm going to use. I got rubber bands. I got plastic gloves. And, of course, I got the 12 dye packets. In this video, I'm also going to be using separately bought plastic wrap. Now it's time for some action. I'm going to be cutting open the packets and pouring them into their own bottles. First, I'm pouring in the blue packet. This will be extremely messy. Now that I've got the dye powder in the bottle, all I have to do is add water to it and I have dye for tie dyeing. Then all I have to simply do is screw the cap on and shake it until all the powder is off of the bottom. Then this bottle of dye is ready for tie dyeing. Then all I have to do is do the same exact thing 11 more times and then I'll actually be ready for the tie dyeing. While I'm filling up the bottles with tie-dye, I'd like to show you my website at www.thecreativitycity.com. Here, you will find a bunch of extra stuff. For one, you'll find extra blog companions, you'll find my products, you'll find my recipes, you'll find all of this extra stuff, so definitely check it out. Also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. You should subscribe because if you do, you can press the bell and get notified whenever I post a new video. Also, if you like this video, make sure that you like and share it. Okay, now I'm almost done filling up the dye in these bottles. Two things I learned are, one, always use scissors to open the packets, and two, use a funnel to funnel the dye into the bottles. Now that the dye is ready, I'm going to set up my area for tie dyeing. I'm taking my plastic surface cover and I'm just spreading it across the table. Then, of course, I'm putting all of the dye on top of it and just getting all of the items out that I'm going to tie dye and figure out what I'm going to do as a whole. Now, I'm pushing my tie dye aside and grabbing the instructions. And I'm going to decide now what the fate is going to be for my t shirt. I've decided that's going to be an ombre effect, which is really just a fading effect. Although, first, before I do anything, I have to take the sticker off of my t-shirt. Okay, now my t-shirt should be ready to tie-dye. I just have to grab the instructions out of here, and here we go, we can start tie-dyeing. The ombre effect is pretty simple. You just lay the t-shirt down, add some tie-dye, then use some water to slowly make the tie-dye fade out.
Okay, now my design is done. I'm going to take some plastic wrap, fold my t-shirt up, and then cover my t-shirt with the plastic wrap. Then I can set it aside and let it set for six to eight hours. Now that my first tie-dye item is setting aside, I can get started on all the others. Here I go. It's later now, all of my tie dyed items have sat for six to eight hours and now they're ready to be washed out. First, I'm starting with some sweatpants that I did. All I'm simply doing is washing out all of the excess dye. Now I have all of the excess dye off the pants, so all I have to do is hang up these pants and let them dry. And now I'm done! All of the items have been washed out and dried. Now all they have to do is be washed separately and they're good. Here are all of the items I tie dyed. The first three I expected and like, but the fourth one I did not expect. I was hoping for more of a galaxy look, but I still like it. This item I definitely did not expect, although I like it. The ombre look, yes, I expected and I really like it. The sweatpants, I actually wasn't really expecting that, but I really, really like it. I also really like the shirt, although I was hoping for more of a spiral, so not really expected. Also, I thought I'd done the spiral on the front, but apparently I did it on the back. So here's the spiral on the back. I still really like this shirt though. Now it's time for the second set. First, here's three bandanas. All the bandanas I did not expect, but the first two I really like. The third one though is a different story. I was not expecting it to look like this and I don't like it. Then we come to the socks. I did not expect it to be like this and I am kind of arguing with myself whether or not I like the two sock pairs. I really expected the backpack to look like this and the apron and I definitely really like them. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this and consider subscribing. Also, Please like and share. Thank you. Bye.